I am in the village of Heigenbrücken. Now a few years ago I came here to make a video about a new railway tunnel that was being built to replace the old line that went straight through the middle of the village and at the time there was some discussion about what should happen to the newly created space once the old tracks had been dismantled. Well the new tunnel was opened in 2017 and so I thought it was about time that I came back to take a look and see what, if any, progress has actually been made. But first, a quick reminder. The original tunnel was not at all suitable for modern high-speed trains, so a new tunnel was built with the mouth and the station at the other end of the village. This left a big empty space the whole length of the village, and what I wanted to know was what had happened to it. Well, there's a... There's a faded sign over there telling me to keep out. This is a construction site, but I actually don't see any sign of, of any construction. And neither are there any fences actually stopping me. Hmm, that's weird. Well, you'd think there'd be something after nearly five years. OK, let's go back to the old tunnel mouth and work our way down the line from there. The tunnel was opened in 1854 and is almost a kilometre long. I seem to remember a suggestion that it be converted into the world's worst cycle path, but luckily saner people intervened and the tunnel was simply filled in, except for a bit at each end where bats can roost, which is what these holes are for. The portal is under a preservation order, at least partly because the railway is important for Heigenbrücken's history, so much so that the tunnel mouth features on the village's coat of arms. The old station, out on the western edge of the village, is still here, waiting, one can only presume, to be either demolished or redeveloped. But apart from removing the tracks and platforms, about the only thing they seem to have done here so far is to rename the approach road. It is impossible to overestimate the importance of the railway. Heigenbrücken is a remote village in the thickly forested uplands of the Spessart. With the railway came undreamt of possibilities. Local products such as sandstone and wood for paper could now be transported to the cities. People could find work in the factories in Aschaffenburg and commute. And because railway staff at opposite ends of the tunnel needed to communicate, the railway also brought the telephone to the village. The economic benefits of all this were, quite simply, huge. So what's to become of this area? Well, I found a framework plan which suggested a lovely little park, and apparently also the conversion of the old station into a home for the elderly. But that's pretty much all I could find. Well, this explains why I was unable to find any information online about what progress has been made here, and exactly what this area has been turned into. The reason is, there hasn't been any progress at all. That's rather disappointing. Well, I did contact the town hall with some questions, but so far I haven't received a reply. If I get one, I'll let you know. For now, let's just continue with the history lesson. Oh, where was I? Ah, yes! Another benefit the railway brought was tourism. Ramblers came to enjoy one of Germany's largest forests, an open-air swimming pool was opened, and the village is officially recognised as a climatic spa a place where you can breathe air that is scientifically proven to be particularly pure. For about a hundred years or so, Heigenbrücken boomed. But times change, and although the place tries hard to promote itself as a great venue for outdoor activities, it's quite clear that things aren't going quite so well for it these days. And let's face it, it's not quite as charming as it could be. It doesn't help that some modernisation work was carried out at a time when this meant experimenting with concrete. But at least it does have a shiny new station, slightly inconveniently located at the extreme eastern edge of the village, instead of slightly inconveniently located at the western end. But hey, it is right next to the Kur Park. And thanks to the new tunnel, Heigenbrücken no longer has 200 trains a day thundering right through the middle of it.
If you're a keen rambler and like to show some love to small places off the beaten track, Heigenbrücken is certainly worth consideration. It is though nestled among steep hills, so not ideal for wheelchair users. It is served every hour by RE trains running between Frankfurt, Aschaffenburg and Würzburg, which are easily recognisable as they're branded the Main Spessart Express. Thank you for watching. If you want to see the previous video that I made here, I'll put it in the blank space just down there below me, uh, or you can use the link in the description.